Hello, Paul Cerniak here with Impact Zone Golf down here in beautiful Southwest Florida. I want to talk to you today about good dynamic impact, but before I do that, I want to talk to you about some good sound fundamentals. Starting with the grip, Harvey Pinnock once said that if you've got a bad grip, you don't want a good golf swing. It just won't work, and he's absolutely correct. Now, there are three basic grips in golf, okay? You've got a 10 finger or a baseball grip, interlocking, or an overlapping. Which one of these you use really doesn't matter. What you really do want to concern yourself with though is a good neutral position. Now what a neutral position is, is how your hands hang down the side of your body. This is neutral. From this position, your arm has equal movement both backwards and forwards because during the golf swing, we do rotate or release the golf club through the impact area. So good neutral position starts in the left hand or your upper hand. You want to grip it mainly from the palm of your left hand or the pad through the middle of your index finger, roll your hand over. The thumb will go down the shaft, but it's going to be off center to the right hand side. Now with your right hand, go ahead and either baseball, interlock, or overlap. You're going to grip it mainly in your fingers. Then take the palm of your right hand and cover the thumb of your left. And the thumb of your left sort of follows the lifeline of your right hand palm. This is going to be a good sound neutral position. Now I want to caution you, it doesn't have to be exact. What you do want is a good fundamentally sound grip. If we need to tweak it just a little bit to the right or to the left, which is stronger or weaker, to improve good dynamic impact, we will do that. So it doesn't have to be perfect. I see people worrying so much about their grip when they're already in a good sound, fundamentally sound grip. The next thing is going to be the pressure in your hands. You want to hold on to this golf club like you're holding on to a child's hand. You hold on to it firmly, but you never ever squeeze it. Okay? When you squeeze the grip, you cause restriction in this wrist and your hands cannot release properly through the golf ball. Sam Sneed once said on a scale of 1 to 10, his grip was a 1. Now he's the only guy that I ever heard say that. Most of them will tell you anywhere from 4 to 6, right in that area there. So hold on to it firmly, but never ever squeeze the golf club. With a good, fundamentally sound grip, you're going to give yourself the best opportunity to make good dynamic impact. I hope this helps you out. If you have any questions, please contact me. If not, I'll see you on the golf course. Thank you.